Hey Blam Squad, welcome to a new video. Yes, I am keeping that, I'm determined. Um, while I'm on a roll with the uh, Horus Heresy, the Plastic Horus Heresy, I wanted to show you something that, uh, I've shown you all the stuff that I've been working on, but I want to show you something that I'm actually working on at the moment. Um, and it's the big centerpiece. So, this is it here. This is my Stormlord. So this was um, a really cheap model that I got off um, eBay. I had to rip some parts uh, apart because it was configured to be one of the other variants. Um, I had to buy some bits to add on, um, but it's getting there. So, <clears throat> and I'm, I'm trying to make this as uh, sort of fancy as I can to make it into uh, very much my a centerpiece of my army. Um, one of the things you'll notice is that we've got these heavy bolters here. With it being the heresy, the heresy version of this model has two heavy bolters on the sides there, and also Space Marine crew because I'm running it. Uh, for my space marines. So that's these fellas here. Those are the hull mounted heavy bolters. There we go. You may notice something in there which is things are glowing. I'm going to show you that in a minute. Possibly the most ghetto lighting system you'll have seen in a model. Um, this gun comes out. I had to do some work as you can see. I had to pull out the gun that was already there <laughs> which has left a bit of a mess and it was also missing the mounting bits that go around this. So I've used part of um, I think it's the cover that goes over some heavy bolters on both sides there and I've used some heavy bolter sort of magazine feeds along the bottom there just to make it look uh, tidy when it's in the model so if you push that together like that there you go you can sort of you can sort of see it it's noticeable in in real life anyway um these side panels come off here so I can run it as um having four four sponsons or none depending on how I want to go. It's not magnetized though, unfortunately. Um, right, so this is basically it. As you can see, I've put a little bit of the uh, Iron Hands livery around the place. Wouldn't be me if I hadn't done that. I need to do some discs to put on the side here to cover up these uh, seams that are quite unsightly that you can see there and there. Oh, and uh, of course, I've put a Space Marine engine on the back there from a Land Raider. Fairly simple. Uh, that took an awful lot of work. You'd be surprised at how much work adding that engine on the back there took. Right, so that's the outside of it. Now, if you look inside, you can see it's glowing like that. Now, that's not showing up very well at the moment because it's actually painted. I've sprayed it all black just to see how it looks. And this is how it goes together. So that's how the inside is there, which you can't really see very well. And then this here is something I've made myself as well. It's a, it's a little stair structure. These bits here are to funnel the light. You won't see those once they're sprayed. Um, and then there's these little platforms for the, uh, the gunners to stand on. The way this comes normally is you would have this whole section here blanked out. One of the reasons I had to do this is because this panel here was actually mounted on the front there. Um, and when I pulled it off, it got so badly damaged, I had to cut it into two halves. And then I was like, oh, I may as well make it into two strips. And I thought, oh, well, I can make a staircase. One of the cool things about the staircase is that these here are actually transparent, or rather they're sort of, they're not solid. So when you look, when it's actually on the model like that, you can see it gives this really cool effect with the lighting. Again, once this is all painted the same color, it'll look a lot better. That's basically how that looks. You can see a little Duracell symbol through there. I need to do some work on that as well. Uh, it's lighting some odd bits. You can see some details in here anyway. Right, let me pull the light out so that we get something close to uh, workable footage for this. So this, sorry, <laughs> is an old bike light. I can never get that right. An old bike light off my, off my bike. Um, chopped it up a bit so that it fits inside. And then I've added a little mounting system if I get it in the right the light correctly. Oh, I'm struggling to get the lighting in here. Um, but there's a there's basically a little panel there, a little panel there made out of styrene. There we go, kind of. And uh, and that holds the light in its place, like that. Simple as that. She rattles a little, but it'll do the job. Um, here we've got some Pegasus Hobbies, uh, one of the old kits sort of girders. They've got a lot of detail on them, which isn't coming out on the camera at the moment. This is really annoying. Um, <laughs> but that's that there. Let me see if I can have a tweak with the old uh, 
brightness here just to get you a a better a better view of this there we go right i've gone a little bit crazy with the brightness there but i think we should be able to get a better idea of it now this is what the inside looks like the camera's gone a horrible frame rate because i've had to have a play with it we've got some bits off the old engines there We've got the ladder that comes with one of these kits as well. Um, we've got a door that matches the Necromunda doors that I did, that I've cut myself. Uh, we've got a little bit of uh, work there that I've done myself with styrene that you can't really see. And then these here at the back that you can see are actually these barrels here, but the two halves that you can see. And then on top, the pipes that you can't really see when they're sort of, when it's put together, those are from the top of the old engines so from these engine stacks that you can see here they're on top of there um, but when you put this on top you can't really see them anyway as you can see but you can see the the barrels and one of the cool things is is that this lights the side of the barrel so i was trying to make it so that it catches everything it lights the side of the barrels it lights the uh, edges of these doors and it catches these pipes and the ladders and then of course it catches those cool bits inside there really sorry for the really dodgy uh, frame rate on this guys the camera does not like filming the inside of this now that it's black i probably should have waited until i sprayed this a lighter color because this inside here is going to be a much lighter color um, so the, the light catches it a lot easier um, and it'll just look a lot nicer but that's basically how the inside of that looks so i was trying to make it as detailed as possible and of course when you've got this on the top you want to be able to uh, see as much of the detail as possible through the quite small hole that you've got going on there. Um, I wasn't quite, I think I was a bit ambitious with how much you'd actually be able to see through that hole. <laughs> um, but it, it should work, it should be quite nice. Right, so that's the progress of that. Uh, like I say again, really sorry for the dodgy camera there. Um, I don't know what it's playing at, I need to uh, have a look at it. Get it out of the way for now. Um, yeah, so uh, I've got a couple of weeks to get this sorted, so I'm hoping to make some more videos uh, along the way. Uh, let me know what you think of the ghetto setup with the bike light, if you've done anything similar yourself. Um, <clears throat> I'm not very good with electrical wiring and things, because I've got colour blindness. I don't like to be playing with little wires and things. Um, and because of that, I've never really invested in things like soldering irons and whatnot, so... I just don't have the equipment to be messing around with little wires and resistors and... Uh, batteries and whatnot so this was just the easiest option for me and to be honest the light fits in there perfectly which was a, a real surprise yeah so like i say let me know what you think of this if you've got any sort of feedback on what color i should go for on the inside that will make the light stand out quite nicely with it being a red one uh, let me know if you think i should go with a white light rather than a red light uh, i do have the option to do that as well uh, there's different options with the flashing as well so I was toying with the idea of having it flash a bit like it's an emergency, like the thing's about to blow up, which this will do every game and kill everybody inside. All 40 Marines. <laughs> um, that's one of the joys of running it. It's, uh, it's a bit of a laugh. Uh, yeah, just let me know what you think. Uh, really keen to hear everybody's feedback. And since I'm quite early on in the, uh, the process, it's quite easy for me to change it up um, until I start putting some serious paint on it. Right, yeah, thank you very much for watching. Keep up with me in between videos over here. If you are in the East Midlands, of the UK, of course, and uh, you're looking for somewhere to play in Derby, there's this place here, Boards and Swords Hobbies. There's a link in the description to their website. Um, if you're just looking to buy something and get an extra 5% off, you can use my little code there. They'll get you an extra 5% off on top of the discounts they normally have on what they've got in their store. Right, I think that's it, guys. Thank you very much for watching, and hopefully... I'll see you in the next one. Stay well, guys.